I'm in OCALC and I go to save a poll that has never been saved before, the system's going to suggest to me what an appropriate name for the file might be. And the default is it's going to be poll under bar and then the poll number. So if I say file, save poll, it pops up and synthesizes a file name, which is poll under bar and then the poll's ID. But I can control what uh, values are put in here and what order they are and what the hard-coded text is. So let's cancel out of that. And I go to file, more options, set default poll name. And let's say instead of wanting to always say poll under bar, I set want to say OCALC. poll and let's say I want to have an additional value on there. Well the easiest way to do that is to go to help and it gives you a list of all of the various values that I'm allowed to put in there. So um, let's say for the sake of argument I want to put the poll species in there. The easiest way to do it is for me to copy out of here and then I'm going to say add that token to the list of tokens that it's going to use to synthesize the name. So now it should be OCALC under bar poll under bar the poll's ID under bar and the poll species. And I can test it right here without having to go and it'll say, okay, this is the name now it would be. It'll be OCALC poll 23 blah 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 Western Red Cedar. And uh, so I say, well, that looks fine to me. I say that, okay, I say okay. And now when I say file, save poll, it now synthesizes that name for me. And in that way, I can control exactly how for my organization my I, default um, poll names are suggested. Now, of course, I can override it at this point. If I, if I go in here and I take something out of here, this is the name it's actually going to use, but it suggests to me the name that it wants to use based on that template that we edited using the default poll name mask.